Yeah, laugh stresses me out in general, um, just because I think their life would be easier if they would just be more open about how they're feeling. Instead, they kind of like let things bubble up until it's hit a point where they get aggressive about it, and then they back off and they go back to this place where they don't talk. So they stress me out in that regard because I just want to be like, this is what I'm feeling. And I know what they're feeling, but they just won't let it out. I think that Perry is, I mean, she's been through a lot as we've seen her uh, go through all sorts of different experiences and transitions over the, the seasons and into the film. But um, so she's dealt with a lot, but I think she's a very uh, sensitive person. And I think that the way to counter that is to develop and fight it with an internal strength. And I, I think that it would be easy to sort of recognize that sensitivity in Perry and, and take that as the whole and sort of like write off anything else. But I think that she cares so, so deeply for her friends and the people around her that um, she would just, she would do anything to help them and save them. Laugh and Perry's relationship has progressed in terms of, they both started off, I think, season one, um, they were both more selfish about the way they wanted things to go. And over the seasons, I think Laugh losing Perry and not realizing that they had lost her really made them check and put things into perspective about how much they actually do care about this person in their life. And um, I think by the time the movie rolls around, they, they communicate more. They, they obviously still have things that they need to sort out, but they, they're more open to each other's feelings and what they need. So I think that's really cool to see that growth. I think that Mel in season zero started off, as many of us do, as unsure of herself, insecure, searching for who she was, and like kind of really squeezing herself tight into the smallest little hunch she could be. And then uh, at the end of season zero, she kind of discovers more presence and more confidence that brings her forward into how we meet her in season two. And then I think season three was kind of traumatic for Mel. She found herself in a location where she had no control, where she was unable to take care of people around her, where she was unable to live with the kind of life that she wanted to live. So actually, yeah, I think maybe she's sort of come to a place of like, I don't have to expand out all the time. Maybe where I am is okay too. And maybe there's some value in people that I've gone through something with. Kirsch, that's a great way to put it. He is a hybrid between the old school and the new school idea of masculinity. The ideas of the masculine and feminine norms are being challenged more than they have in the past. I would hope that what you see of Kirsch is, is just a person. I don't think anymore that he's trying to put on anything. I think in the top of season one, he was playing a part. So I think Kirsch was a certain way, for a while until he met some people that knocked some sense into him. And then I think he just stopped performing. And I think what you see now is just who he is as a person. If I just sum up the Carmilla movie in three words, I think I would say, you earned it. It's about time. <laughs> Sassy. Gay. Ghost. Busting. Gay. <laughs> Adventure. Fun times, but I would just I'd say that's one word. <laughs> okay. Gay adventure fun times. Yay.